Welcome to Linux in the Shell, episode 14, the bottom of top. This is going to be a pretty thin episode. Not because there isn't a lot of information to cover, but because the majority of it is just informational and has been covered on the write-up on the website and the audio portion, so I strongly recommend that you head on over there and check that out. I'm just going to talk about how to control the task area the bottom of top that I'm going to be ta I talked about how to turn these fields on and off so right now what you're looking at is the default top window display here the task area and the values that are associated with the defaults in top uh, these are the columns that you can adjust turn on and off or move around and I'll show you how to do that to get going on, on adjusting these and, and maybe adding some more columns you just press the F key and up at the top you'll see field management this is the name of the window and it'll give you directions so you can notice here the ones I'm cycling through you can navigate using the up and down arrow keys and every one of these that you see that's highlighted in this window right here and has an asterisk next to it are the ones that are displayed by default and this is the order that they're displayed in so if I hit the Q key and go back you will see those same values listed right across the top now if I go in the field and let's say I want to turn another field on let's go with TTY now I could either hit space key or the D key to turn it on and once I turn it on if I hit escape or Q, I'll go back and I'll see the TTY has now been added. And I can do that. I can turn it off by hitting the space or the D key and hitting Q or escape and you'll see it's gone. Now let's say I wanted to move one of these values around. For instance, let's move command up to the top what I can do is select it with the right arrow you'll notice it's selected and move it with the up and down arrows and when I find the place I want it to be I just hit enter or press the left arrow button and it will commit it so now when I quit out of here you'll notice that the command is all the way at the beginning and everything else is to the right of it so fields Let's move that back, select with the space, we'll toggle it on and off. Remember that, but I don't, I don't want to do that. Turn it back on, but I will move it with the right arrow to select it, move it back down to where it belongs, right there, and hit enter or the left arrow key to position it, and hit escape to show you that it's there. That's essentially how you can control what is displayed in the task window. You can turn a bunch of these things on like that, hit Q, and you'll see now we got a bunch of fields in. And they, uh, some of these fields have fixed widths. Other ones, like the command, are dynamic and will display given the amount of space that it has. So just be aware of those. And of course, I can turn all those off again by deselecting them and hitting escape. Very simple how to control what you're seeing in a task window. Because this was a episode largely devoted to what these values, what values are available and what they mean, as you notice that in this case my window the values are too big to display in one column so it'll, it'll cycle through to the bottom. It doesn't wrap around, be aware of that. Uh, that's basically all I wanted to show you in this episode. So check out the website for full explanation of these values, what these fields mean, and notes to give you more information on how this stuff actually works and what, what is being represented here. I thank you very much. You have a great day, and I'll see you in two weeks for the conclusion or part three of TOP, the rest of it.